Hey there guys, welcome back to week 10 of Beat the Hobbit, where I will be racing against Frodo to get from the Shire to Mount Doom as fast as I can to raise money for the charity When You Wish Upon a Star. Now if you'd like to get involved in this, you can either go down to the description and click on the link, or you can go to the website Just Giving and search Beat the Hobbit. If you can help us out with the charity, that'd be really great. Now, you may notice I've not had opportunity to put the green screen up. It'll be a very, very busy day. It's, uh, it's Caitlin's birthday today, so i uh, not had the opportunity to keep up because we're going to make sure the princess is happy today. So, no green screen today, so apologise if you can see you know, all of this. Don't worry about it. Back to normal next week. Now, we're going to crack on as normal. Frodo's got his usual things. 9.7 across the board, giving him 67.9. That means his remaining distance now is 1,145.7. That's Frodo's. Like I always said, that's consistent all the way through. That will never change. Now, I've tried to bolster my numbers this week or because for the next two weeks I'm off. So I'm not at work. I usually get a lot of my mileage at work. So my numbers are going to be low. So I tried to get a decent number on this time. Still didn't quite hit as high as I wanted, but these are the what I got this time round. Uh, my total was 100.88 miles, uh, leaving my remaining amount 826.97. So well over halfway now. Uh, also, that means now the distance between us is 318.73 miles, giving me ahead of 32 days. Now that means I finally got my full month ahead of it now this may drop over the next two weeks because i can't get the mileage because i'm not at work so that might drop down i'm gonna try my best to keep it above but obviously there may be a bit of dip but after that i'll be back to normal so normal things as usual now they finally delivered the minds of maria now this one i had a very quick glance at this one because it looked awesome so this is the front of the might of Moria. I'm just going to whip it out here because you need to see all of this. This is an awesome one. Don't need that. Sorry, Poppy. So that's the Mind of Moria one. Now this one's cool because you can actually open the gate and get it the right way. Look at that. That is awesome. Look at that. That is very, very cool. And also, if you get to the back of this bad boy, and I've closed the gates the wrong way around, that is no good. On the back is the bow rock. This is easily now my favorite medal. I love this one. This is a problem though, because I've got to hang up on the walls. You can see back here, I've hung a couple up on the walls already. I'm not sure, because obviously that's supposed to be the front. That's the back. And I like the back better than the front, but the front has all the stuff on it. So it's kind of awkward what I'm going to do. I'm going to think about that one later. But that's the Minds of Mori. Now we're still on the uh, Eye of Sauron. Uh, I've got a good way through that in a minute, so it shouldn't be too much longer before we get to the end of that. And then final bit is Mordor, that's the final legs. We are coming very, very close to the conclusion of this, so please remember to help us out and the charity. Once again, it's for When You Wish Upon a Star. If you'd like to donate, you just click on that link down below or go to justgiving.com and search Beat the Hobbit. If you want to keep up to date of my progress in this, please go to X, formerly Twitter account, at We Can Respawn. And come back here next Sunday for week 11, see how well I'm doing it going to Frodo. So see you next time, guys.